This is the CEO that everybody wants, but yet nobody wants, right? Oh, I, I hope nobody wants this guy, because he's a lunatic. Yeah, uh, he, I had a lot of fun doing this, because it's one of the craziest characters I've ever gotten to play. You're hitting that point now where the roles that every actor dreams of, you're getting now. It's a pretty cool point to be at, isn't it? Yes, but I'm also the third person they call, so as long as those other two who will remain nameless pass on them, then I'm in. You're an incredibly good looking man, and that can sometimes lead to stereotyping, but yet you're getting these roles that are true character actor roles. For you as an actor, was that a difficult transition? Was it tough to say, I'm not just a good looking guy? Uh, you make a bunch of studio films that flop and uh, you can't get another studio job and then you have to change your route. That's the formula. It worked for me. With Call Me By Your Name, it really hit on LGBTQ rights. Yeah. This movie, we're looking at race, we're looking at culture wars, we're looking at capitalism. When you get to be part of projects like this with messaging attached to them, that's got to mean something, right? It's nice. You know, I mean, look, we, we are in an industry and we make a product that is given a platform to say something and, and uh, to package something in a way that someone might not necessarily be receptive to, but if they watch a movie like this because they're interested in it, they might learn something.